Hi St. Paul, I'm Rachel Parr. I am from North Texas and I chose St. Paul as my Con Ed site um, because it's a reconciling ministry, first of all. I really enjoyed that. And I like a smaller community and I am 100% looking forward to learning about doing church and community and discipleship um, during social distancing times and pandemic times. Um, and I can't wait to get to know all of you more even through a camera. Um, a fun fact about me is that I have three sisters, um, one who's eight and we're BFFs, so yeah. Hello to everyone at St. Paul UMC. Uh, my name is Morgan Byers and I am a second year seminary student pursuing a degree in Master of Divinity. Uh, and I chose to come to St. Paul for my Con Ed 2 experience for two major reasons. Uh, first, I really appreciate the fusion of both past and present, you know, being in a historic neighborhood and church building while also bringing in the best insights that the church has from today, from both the older members and the younger members. And I just really appreciate that. And I think it's still evident even though we're meeting virtually and it's less obvious the setting that we're in. Um, and I also just really appreciate the openness and authenticity of this community, um, especially how it encourages people to use their gifts to bring the kingdom of God even more fully into this community and the city around it. Uh, one interesting thing about me is that before I decided to go to seminary, I originally planned to go to medical school. So I have degrees in both biology and history from the College of Charleston because I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do. <laughs> Paul, it is Annie, also known as Miss Annie to you guys. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that this year I'm joining us as an intern from Candler School of Theology. And I'm so excited about all of the different ways I'm going to be involved in ministry here at St. Paul outside of just children's and youth. So I just wanted to announce that I'm coming on in that new role. And uh, I'm so excited about what the future holds for us, um, even during a pandemic. So you might be seeing some of me in other places of the service that you're not used to, and you might even see me give a sermon one day. Who knows? 